Well, say this about Steve Ballmer. He doesn't give up easily, rebuffed constantly by Yahoo management. He seems to be gunning now for Yahoo investors and shareholders that they'll come to their senses on the wisdom of his $40 billion plus offer, even though management so far has not. My next guest says it is Ballmer who should be coming to his senses, that all of this fuss over Yahoo just ain't worth it. Here to explain, Market Watch is John Dvorak. John, good to have you. Good to be here, Neil. So you, you don't think it's worth the trouble. Why not? Well, I don't like the deal to begin with because I, I don't think there's a good match. There's like, you know, there's a, if you take a look at the number of people, the unique visitors to both the Microsoft sites and the Yahoo sites, there's like a 70% overlap right there. So they're hmm. paying actually more than they should be right from the get-go. And uh, the other thing is, what does Microsoft really want? They only want really pieces of Yahoo, and they're, so they're going to have to divvy the company up somehow in some form. Uh, in other words, like they don't really, what are they going to do with Flickr, for example? I mean, what are they going to do with Blogger? I mean, there's a lot of things that they don't need, and so they're going to, so the, most of their energy is going to be spent uh, ch chopping and dicing, which is one of the reasons I think that News Corp is maybe entering the picture to perhaps sweeten the deal and uh, take some of these things, especially the social networking stuff, uh, which, you know, Microsoft has failed at, you know, on and off again. They keep dipping their toes, but doesn't really do them much good. And also, both M Microsoft and Yahoo have kind of come in and out of the content business. And Yahoo keeps dabbling in it. And they keep creating these content sites that always fail because both Microsoft and Yahoo are so self-absorbed as companies that they really can't do content. <laughs> it really takes a special skill. Uh, you know, in other words, if, every, if everything you think is all has to be about you, it's very difficult to do content. And Microsoft's run into this problem over and over again over the years. In the late 90s, they did a whole bunch of magazines online, and they, they all pretty much bailed on all of them. Uh, well, you raise a good point, and but, to sell that off. but speaking of being self-absorbed, the News Corp you refer to is, of course, our parent company. So everything they do is magical. Of course. But, but back to the, the, the premise is. you raise. Uh, you know what I always wonder about, John, when a lot of these deals are turned nasty, and this one certainly has, then you got to wonder what you win when you win, if you win. You know, I mean, you've got a lot of manager at the other company that, that's not too keen on the idea. They go kicking and screaming. A lot of the workers and a lot of the people in this sphere are very independent, kind of free, artsy folks. And they don't much like, you know, being barked at. So they, they, they bolt, right? I, and, and I wonder then what you're left with. Well, you know, I, I, this column I wrote last week in Market Watch, which is still online, uh, I discussed the possibility that Microsoft's like the python that ate that uh, crocodile down in Florida, <laughs> and the gator just clawed its way out of this monstrous snake, and it was just this horrible mess. And I get the sense that this is kind of what we're going to be looking at here, because the, the Yahoo employees, a lot of them have quit already, but they, they could just be really a, a problematic group for Microsoft. They don't like Microsoft. The Silicon Valley crew as a, as a whole do not like the Microsoft style uh, out of Washington and Redmond. It's a different ty type of management. And uh, it could really be a, a huge, uh, just a waste of time for Microsoft to have to, to, to digest this $40 billion deal. It's just a, a, I, I'm shocked that they need to do it. Very interesting. I always enjoy reading your computer musings and related. John, thank you very, very much. Thank you. John Devorek. All right, well, forget about a Barack.